soon as we hit the ground and get organized, we move out. I don't intend to waste any time finding what the enemy has been hiding. doesn't take long. Within two hours, we come across a massive enemy training and supply dump. Start Start coming this way. Up. Right away, the guys start calling it the city, because it has almost now, everything you could imagine, imagine that you would imagine have in a city. That you would have in a city any place else. You had schools, you had hospitals, you had ammunition, storage areas. I don't know how many tons, hundreds of tons of rice that were in there. I was shocked that they had it, that it was that large and it was that close to the, uh, to the border. I don't think uh, we were more than seven, seven miles. Seven miles into Cambodia. Cambodia. So if there's that much here, I can only imagine how much is out there. There's so many supplies, it'll take months to destroy it all. And the last thing I want to do is get so hung up with this that we fail our primary objective. So I order two of my rifle companies to stay back at the city and oversee its destruction, while I take the other three companies and head out to find the NVA headquarters. While Anderson and his men speed towards their objective, President Nixon prepares to deal with a political problem, the uproar that the news will surely provoke. He decides to take the offensive so he can frame the issue before others do. Tonight, American and South Vietnamese units will attack the headquarters for the entire communist military operation in South Vietnam. This is not an invasion of Cambodia. The areas in which these attacks will be launched are completely occupied and controlled by North Vietnamese forces. We take this action not for the purpose of expanding the war into Cambodia, but for the purpose of ending the war in Vietnam and winning the just peace we all desire. The day after Nixon's announcement, student protests break out on dozens of campuses across the country. On May 4th, 2,000 students rally at Kent State. As the demonstration erupts into violence, members of the Ohio National Guard suddenly open fire on the crowd of students. In 13 seconds, 67 live rounds are fired. Four students are killed, eight more are wounded, one permanently paralyzed. Public reaction is horrified and widespread. Four million students go on strike, forcing 450 colleges, universities, and high schools to shut down. 